Let's talk about fonts. You really wouldn't think that fonts are important, but they're everything. Whether you're trying to start a small business or you're trying to just post a really cute story on Instagram, if you use the wrong font, people will tell. People being me, I can tell. I just feel like they say so much about you, your brand, your business, what you're bringing to the table. You want to make sure that it represents you correctly. So I'm going to show you guys all the ways you can use PixArts fonts for yourself or your business. I think the biggest misconception that people have is that you have to go crazy, you have to go big. That is not the case. I'm gonna use influencer Matilda Jurf, for example. She just recently launched her own brand, Jurf Avenue. And what I really love about their label is that it is so simple, so minimalistic. It just really goes to show that you don't have to do a ton. The great thing about Matilda is that she kind of plays around with shape a little bit. She chooses a more average font and she mixes it up with the shape. As you can see on her logo, there's a little like swerve going on. You can recreate this by choosing whatever text you want and using PixArt's Bend tool. I also played a little bit around with the spacing of it just because I'm a perfectionist and I want it to be perfect. I feel like I got pretty close to Matilda's logo, but what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Now, let's say you're trying to start a small business. I'm just going to use coffee, for example. If you're trying to pitch this to somebody, I highly recommend using our AI image generator, which is what I use to create the coffee bags. I think they ended up being super cute. The background that I use is from one of our templates, and I chose the right text that I felt like represented my brand. PixArt has so many texts that you can choose from, so take your time, pick the one that you like, but I honestly think sometimes simple is the way to go. I feel like if you overdo a text and you choose something with cursive or something a little bold, that's totally fine, but it can either be hard to read or distracting, which is why I feel like a safer font is the way to go, which is what I did with this. I also played around with the bending of it again because I wanted my text to be a little round, and I feel like it ended up super cute. I've been seeing a lot of really cute mid boards on Pinterest Interest and I just wanted to create one for myself for summer. PixArt is literally my favorite for creating mood boards. It's so easy. But I just chose some photos that I really liked and I put them into a collage on PixArt. And then I added some of my own photos of myself just so that I could kind of insert myself into my mood board. And this is really where I took my time picking the perfect font. There were so many cute ones on PixArt that I love. I ended up going with this one just because I felt like it was calling my name. But again, PixArt literally has hundreds upon hundreds that you can choose from. And another thing that I use text for, which I posted recently on our TikTok. If you guys don't follow us, follow us at Pixar. I created a little movie poster for Beyonce's album, Cowboy Carter. There is a little search bar where you can look up different fonts. And if you give a simple keyword, it'll literally show you whatever you need. I'm pretty sure I typed in like cowboy or Southern or Western or something along those lines. And it found me a font that literally reminds me of every single Western movie poster. It was just so perfect. I felt like it represented the album perfectly and what Beyonce is trying to do with this album. All this to say, fonts are important. They say so much about you. I don't know if I'm biased, but I feel like Pixar makes it pretty easy. If you use Pixar's text and fonts for your own projects or businesses, make sure to tag us below. Our social medias are down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe. We post new videos every single Monday. Bye, guys.